So, bre so breaks over. Last one we left off, uh, sh it was Shylan's turn to be interrogated. All right, watch you her step on the stairs. Shylan does wince a bit from the still soreness as he climbs up, but yeah, he follows. Going this way, I think. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. So yeah, going up the stairs. All right. So, uh, Lieutenant Rames, he got, he goes over to the chair and says, "All right, sit down." Charlotte moves to sit down. Uh, he would if I could bloody click on him. <laughs> Apologies about before. I was um, I admit I was in a bit of a panic after well everything that happened. Oh hey, I'm not the one you ins I'm not the one you insulted there, and um, well, how do I how do I put this? Um, you don't have to justify yourself to me. You don't. I can see that you have a good heart on your sh you have a good heart in your chest, and sometimes good heart on your shoulders. <laughs> you got, yes, you got, that would be you got, you, got, you got a good heart in your chest, and sometimes it overrides that thing on your shoulders. I know how I know how that is. Of course. Of course. Hmm. All right. I'll answer what questions you have as best I can. I might like to ask some of my own afterwards. Hmm. First, we got to address the elephant in the room. Do you understand the magnitude of your actions? Not entirely. That's kind of why I, part of my questions. Well, for one, you resisted arrest. That's gonna probably, you're probably going to have to face up to a year in prison and or a 500 gold piece fine for that alone. Not only that, Raquel is a convicted murderer. You are not only incriminated yourself, but you cast suspicion on the rest of those out there. It's looking, it's like they could probably get out, assuming you're assuming all of your stories line up, but you, I'm not so sure about. I see. However, I'm not in the business of ruining lives. So, if there's anything I need to know, perhaps I can make something happen. I, well, ask and, well, ask and I will try to inform. All right. The reason you are in court. You okay. are the one that, the, you are the one that Dark sent over, correct? Out of character, Dark would be... Directly in Arena Rumble Company. Yep. Yep. That would be me. Yes. I really I... hope those flies actually got up. They did, and I went and saw that you were putting them up before that explosion consumed you and several others. I've already sent out messages to contacts who were looking for you, and we'll see what your boss says when he when he replies. And the Gladiator League was established. We have it is uh, it's actually called the Circle of War. <laughs> Cute. Yes, uh, I didn't have the heart to. Uh, it's, uh, it's become a bit of a joke around here that's like, the acronym is COW. Eh, I would have picked lamb, but to each their own. Yes. Yeah, your boss was apparently very insistent on that name. Question. D uh, is there any truth to the reputation that he doesn't take criticism well? Well, he doesn't like me very much, so... Hmm. And yet he was the one who sent you out here. Well, when you're sending someone to... When you're sending people to establish in Galilee Arena, you send your best. Oh, I see. So he doesn't like you, but he knows that you are one of the best he had. I am the best he has. But enough about me, you're asking about the crimes? 
All right. <clears throat> so, why don't you start? Why don't you start from the top? The you were putting up flyers. Bright flash happened. What happened next? Then I met your boss, I believe. The man in the robes, the elf. Uh, he's not. M oh, <laughs> he's not my. But okay. What happened after? Then we found the uh, woman with the lack of clothing. She was being attacked by people in masks. At least I think there were people. I went to knock one of them out when they crumpled far too easily for something that was human. After hmm. that, we found several people. We, I believe the the team fully found us first. She had been sniping the creatures. Then we found Sybil, the girl from before, and... The last Sybil, the gnome was before Sybil and the girl. He was running from those creatures too. And the last person we found was the griffin, trapped in a cage and surrounded by a lot of them. Hmm. All right, you fought them off. And then you went to this, uh, there was one room afterwards. What happened in there? That room, well, the your boss shined his sword on the on the door. We saw, well, what looked like a skeleton, and we find ourselves basically surrounded by armed men with hostile intent. Skeleton. Hmm. All right, and when you met Raquel, you didn't see anything odd about her, like no blood anywhere? Well, I noticed something very odd about her. Like? The fact that she was, from all accounts, a civilian trapped in an area where there are hostile creatures. So the exact same odd thing I noticed about everyone else I met. Hmm. I meant something odd that wasn't obvious. Well, if it wasn't obvious, it wasn't obvious to me. Fair enough. All right. What do you know? Do you know anything special about the griffin? Other than that it can talk and it's been a victim of cruelty. Hmm. And the last one I wouldn't call special. Yeah, it's a vic victim of cruelty. What makes you say that? Because it treats being hurt as it is bit as normal and deserved. I see. It treated being in a cage so small it could barely fit it, let alone allow it to move, as where it was supposed to be. Hmm. So, what can you tell me about that uh, black goblin over there? He's friendly. He just seems creepy. If you want my honest opinion, Take everything he says at face value from the words, not the tone. If he says he wants to, he wants a hug, he means he wants an actual hug. I can't tell if you're serious, and that's very concerning. I think that's such a cute... That is such a cute description. <laughs> <laughs> you have a very um, odd bar for cute. Silent just says, 
Well, I could give you my word, but as an apparently convicted criminal, I'm not sure how far that would go. Hmm. Fair enough. All right, then. Well, I suppose that's all the information I can give, unless you recognize yes. any of these symbols. I actually had, like I said, I, I wanted to ask you something, if I could. Uh, can I roll intelligence? Okay, uh, out of character, there's one symbol I recognize. Can I roll an intelligence check to see if Shylin might recognize it through, like, trivia? Uh, it, w it wouldn't be, uh... It wouldn't be intelligence, it would be uh, a religion check. What about an occultism yeah. check? What about an occultism check? No, it wouldn't be a cult. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I roll. Roll tr no, trivia. Yeah, roll a Jeopardy check. Yeah. <laughs> trivia meaning trivia meaning he wouldn't have been trained in it, but it's like a, I, I picked know, up through the grapevine. Oh, dude, I'm. Prefer the price of Marky. Wow. Prefer yeah. the what price of that? Right. Yeah. All right. So yeah, uh, I got an 18 oh. on that. All right. Well, then. Um. Interesting. Well, you don't re- It's like, you actually recognize all the same symbols that Adrian did. <laughs> and there was another one I recognized out of character. Was my role high enough to get to get it in character? No. Okay. So yeah, I'll, I'll re just for the sake of things, I'll repeat the same stuff that Adrian said. Hmm. All right. Well then. So, you had questions for me? Yes. You mentioned that everyone was compl everyone was complicit, but or at least under suspicion, but I was the only one who actually ran away with the criminal. That I understand putting me under suspicion, but if I recall everyone else was going to be arrested before I tried to escape. So, what were they under suspicion for before then? Hmm. Here in the Eastern Dominion, if the police want to question you for something, if they have probable cause, they can. And the probable cause was being found with a convicted murderer. See. And as to why your actions cast doubt on everyone and not just yourself, well, not every criminal is competent. I say criminals aren't criminals aren't if you be you're in this business long enough you recognize that criminals are not a monolith. They all do very different things for very different I, reasons. I see the prim, the convicted criminal that would be the girl, yes? Yes. And you're sure that she is guilty of her crime, yes? She was convicted almost a decade ago. So... By who? By a court of law. I see. Just seems odd that the same law enforcement who convicted her is the same one who, upon finding a group of missing people in an explosion, assumed they were guilty. I mean, if it were me and I saw a group of people trapped in a collapsed building, would I assume that they had caused it? Or that they were the victims of it? You, just, you, you see Lieutenant Rames just kind of lean back. That's just what I was thinking. Hmm. Just seems there are some people who have jumped to some odd conclusions about us, Makes me wonder who else they might have jumped to odd conclusions about. Food for thought. 
I'm not the one you need to convince about that. I've had my... I've had thoughts for a while, but I've mostly kept them to myself. Actions always speak louder than words. Hmm. And thoughts don't mean anything if they're always to yourself. You don't need a lecture from me, though. I'm just thinking out loud. I, myself, am just thinking out loud at this point. Yes, that is true. But if you, but if you act on your thoughts, and you don't have all the information, he he looks at he looks at he looks at he looks at uh, one of your wounds. Oh, you're right. But then again, how many wounds would we? How many wounds can you might you get if you wait to find out all the if you wait to find out all the information? Just saying, we don't always have the luck. We don't always have the luxury of a full investigation. Yeah, yeah. You see, you're 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 studying his face, and you just see that he sit he it. There's this anger, but it seems like it's pent up. It's like, and it's it doesn't seem like it's directed at you. Anyway, I'm sure you will trust whatever your superiors decide, even if it disagrees with what the with what your own information tells you. Hmm. I think we should escort you back to your cell. I will cooperate. And he stands up with again his hands behind his back. All right. All right, so heading towards the door. I'm just going to move that over. Wow, this is really bad. Yeah. All right. All right, so heading over to the men's door. Oh, come on, be nice. All right. Program be like, that's not my role here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I cannot do that. <laughs> I still need to see that. It's honestly not as good as people say. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wait, wrong way. Sorry. It depends on what you enjoy most when you go to see such films. <laughs> All right. So, let me open the door. Okay, so. I need to hit refresh because my thing is moving very, very slow. It's like, you know how people... No, never mind. Oh. All right. So... There we go. All right. So, but, so uh, Lieutenant Rames, he moves towards his... Uh, oh. All right. You, Gnome. All right, let's go. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck? Are you kidding me, Finn? That's 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 in character, by the way. Well, she leans against the bars of her cell, and when she sees Flint, she no, she says to him, just be smart. Don't be rebellious. Um, you don't understand, I already said it in the voice, I gotta keep it now. Um. Oh, uh, Josh. I think uh, Ari made a roll. Oh, uh, she did. Uh, 
Um, uh, that would be perception. Yeah, she did. She did. Uh, I didn't. I didn't see the roll. It should be in the well, public, a little, um, public chat. It's literally above what I wrote. Hmm. I'm not. Hmm. I'm not seeing the roll. I see. It's an 18. 18. 18. Yeah, it's 18. Yes, you hear it. Yeah, 18. Okay. He, uh, he before he leaves, uh, he does two things. First of all, to uh, what do you call it? He turns to Adrian. He says, "We'll try to give you something for those blisters later." And then he also goes, uh, "Where is uh, where's Seven Cell?" By the way, uh, to your left, right there. To the left, right over here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, here we go. Because he was drawing something in his notebook. There we go. Uh, she's asleep. All you always see is your t- her tail sticking out from under the bed. <laughs> He slides it under the under the cell door. Mm-hmm. Ah. Dang fly. All right. Careful not to trip on the stairs. All right. All you have to do is just click on the little stair icon. <laughs> Got it. Right there. Oh, I got to move. Oh, uh, yeah. There I am. Can't move my guy, though. There we go. Seat. All right. All right, what can I help you out with? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm muted. Please, with the Batman voice. Are you? <laughs> he was, he was, he was actually practicing different voices in the cell to see which one are you, are you mocking me? Please. <laughs> no, I just, I need a, I need a throw lozenge. Nice room, by the way. All right. So. <clears throat> what brings you to court? Uh, you know. Stuff. I'm going to need a little more detail than that. Well, excuse me for a minute. <clears throat> well, it's funny how my voice changed like that, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, needless to say, I've been I, I've been doing a little bit of work around the city. Important work, trying you know, trying to save lives, you know, just doing what good guys do. And, um, let's just say I had a little run-in with a light, and then a run-in with a couple of spooks, and then a run-in with a ragtag gang, and now I'm having a run-in with you. Hmm. All right. You have an enormous amount of contraband. We had to bring in the local alchemist to make sure that nothing exploded. Yeah. You need to be careful. Some of those explode if you shake them, some of them explode if you light them, some of them just... Those are my least favorite. Hmm. Interesting. So. When you first met Raquel, did anything seem out of the ordinary? Well, nothing incriminating, if that's what you're asking. Did you... It's like when you found her, did you see any blood on her hands or her face? I don't think so. Hmm. Have you have have you studied her by any chance? Yes. Anything strange? No. The only thing I can say was that when she was traveling with us, she was timid, but... That sounds about right. Did she do do anything weird at specific points? No. 
That doesn't sound very convincing. Oh, sorry. No, no. I know what I'm being lied to. Yes. All right. What was the thing that was unusual? I'm waiting. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> Sorry, no, just imagine he, like, overfed you, just staring there blankly, and he's just seeing this loading symbol over his head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's not good at this at all. You don't seem like the type. You mentioned earlier that you were helping uh, uh, citizens however you can. I take it you're uh, one of those active citizens? You could say that. It's one of those cases where you see somebody in danger and you need to do something. I see. Well, I hope you haven't broken any laws doing so. Trust me, the only the only day the only thing that could possibly have happened was possibly a little bit of property damage, but the it was caused by an implosion, which means no damage to the surrounding. Oh yes, the in that in that one city. Well, um, I'm not entirely sure where you were. I don't think any of you know know exactly where you were. But um, but I, I don't know if we can ever find out where there were where you were. We'll ask about the local ordinance. Right. But anyways, back to my original question. What was that? What was the thing that was unusual? Well, I noticed a strange magical aura emitting from her, and she also knew how to speak to animals as well. All right. What did she do with her magic? Speak to animals. All right. Well then, I don't think there's anything else that needs to be said unless you have questions for me. Is... Nope, I think I'm okay. Very well. He set. He gets up from the table. All right. <sighs> All right. Nailed it. <laughs> Good grief, Finn. <laughs> I can't! <laughs> all right, so, all right, time to go in. All right, you, Goblin. Yes? Jesus Crow. Best it's part, a, I can't wait! <laughs> it's, a, it's like a, Lieutenant Reigns lo looks towards Shylan very briefly. Shylan just gives Shylan just gives a nod, just like, go with it. <laughs> Could you please come with me? I wish to ask you a few questions. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> I can't. Why? I, I can't just mute. Everybody mute. <laughs> Again, just a nod from Shyla. Just figures like, yes, yes, he means it. <laughs> All right. Over here. Oh. 
Watch yourself hey, on the um, fingers. It's a, they're a little slippery. Okay, Josh, quick question. Can yep. Hoshimi um, check to um, see if these guards understand Sylvan? Uh, sure. Okay. Um, she's just going to say over in Sylvan, Excuse me, guard. Hmm. The guard doesn't react. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Please sit down. All right. You're the last person that I am going to question, as I have been recommended against questioning the griffin, as she is not meant not mentally capable. So, why don't we start with why you are here in court? I don't know. You don't know. What were you doing before you were in court? I was with my dog. We were having the most pleasant conversations. We unfortunately don't know anything about you. Uh, you did not turn up on the missing persons list because apparently no one was looking for you. So, is there anything you could tell me about yourself? What would you like to know? I'm sure I can give you all kinds of interesting stories. Hmm. It says here, I have it from your acquaintances that you have magical powers. Oh, Where yes. All right. What kind? I learned from my dog. We have learned so very much from each other. Yes, your doll, the one in... All of a sudden, there's this blood-curdling scream that that echo that's echoing throughout the halls. Do we all uh, hear it? Yes, everyone can hear it. Ooh, that um, sounds fun. Could you stay here a moment? By the way, uh, can we tell the gender of the screen? Yes, it's male. Okay. All right. So after about hey, Josh, I sorry, I just I sent you a thing. Oh, uh, one minute. Um, what was that? All right, so okay. after about five minutes have passed, and uh, hmm. about five minutes have passed, and Lieutenant Rames comes back, and he's got a little bit of a glare on his face as he sits down. Do you know anything about that? What just happened? Was it something fun? <sighs> Officer Jenkins. He was the one assigned to examine all of your contraband. He just started screaming bloody murder and now he's curled up in the fetal position. Did something scare him? He doesn't really need to be afraid, you know. 
No one needs to be afraid. I hate everything about you right now, Doc. I, I am quite enjoying this. Are you kidding me? I love everything about you right now, Doc. I love this. I just have a huge grin on my face. I'm enjoying everything. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. From what I've been able to piece together from everyone's stories, you were the first to come across a particular dead body, one that was armored. Oh, yes. I was so very curious. I had no idea that there was going to be such death about. Hmm. Such interesting death. And I am interested in that subject as well. And I want you to be honest with me. Because this is going to... Because what you answer right now is going to determine a lot. Describe the dead body. No. Oh. I noticed that he was with other figures about. I'm not sure what he was doing before he died. I really would like to know. You see yeah. Lieutenant Rames actually relax a little bit. So... You don't know how he got his throat slashed. Not particularly, but maybe I could look into it for you. <laughs> I'm sorry? Oh, there's no need to be sorry. There's no need. What, uh, what did you mean by look into it? I can go have some more pleasant conversations. So many more pleasant conversations. You see uh, the twinkle of recognition appear in uh, Lieutenant Rames's eyes. Very well. I think I understand. Hmm. One last one last thing. I'm going to show you the parchment that I have shown everyone else. Does anything seem familiar to you? Mm. Yes, that would be a uh, religion check. Mm. Hmm. Well, Oh my gosh, you recognize the, you all recognize the exact same symbols. You re yes, you recognize Corellin, you recognize Bahamut, you recognize, and you recognize Asmodeus. <laughs> mm. I don't know what it is, but apparently. Interesting, you never asked me. I know, it's just, uh, as I, well, as he said, As he said, he had only just got delivered. Yeah. So. You didn't, I, I didn't get to see it either, but. Oh, yeah. yeah I, forgot I didn't do much to help I, either. I, I forgot with you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hmm. Very well. Um, 
Is there anything you wish to ask of me? What are you afraid of? Hmm. Afraid of? I would say I'm afraid of a lot of different things. Some of them rational, some of them irrational. I would say I'm afraid of being wrong. And does this fear help you? In many ways it does. It helps me. I fear in some ways it is a motivation. In some ways it helps me because I am so afraid of being wrong. It compels me that much more to seek the truth. But with that comes its own other dark side to it there's a temptation a temptation to lie to myself ironic I know hmm interesting very enlightening Thank you very much. Hmm. All right, then. I suppose our questioning is done. Oh, yes, before I forget, I need to ask two people about something specific. If you'll follow me. By all means. What else will we be doing today? That... I'm not sure, actually. Hmm. All right. Uh, no. An Officer Edgeworth. I apologize. It's I forgot to I forgot to ask you about this particular detail. He pulls out that he pulls out the piece of parchment. Uh Ben that all of a sudden the guard at the at the desk is like, Are you sure you should be letting two of them out like that? He looks over and says, I have a feeling things are gonna turn out to be fine. The man knows what he's doing. Just to be cheeky, Hoshimi pokes her head out of the door real quick, waves at the guard, and then st slips back in. <laughs> All right. Before I forget. Do you sit... Uh, can you identify that? Oh, dear. Whoops. That's a no! <laughs> Nope. I'm very depressed. Oh, no. it's okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, your mind. Yeah, your mind's not working okay right now. Okay, so Flint, uh, my, religion, yep. please. Yep, my turn. Let's see. I never Let's... rolled religion. I just said she doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> um. No, well, I'm gonna stick. But I'm gonna stick with that. Well, uh, sir. By the looks of things, I think a naked Ooh. dancing man and an angel were having a bonfire to try to blot out the sun. Can somebody mute that man, please? Oh, uh, uh <laughs> oh, um, Finn, I don't think your role is public. Oh, oh it's not. I oh, whoops, I did private. I'm sorry. I'll I can make it. I can make it public. Don't worry. I'm sorry. All right. So, so nothing. Well, <sighs> worth a shot. <clears throat> those sorry. are definite. Those are definitely drawings. All right. And you, you look at you, you, He's walking over. It's a. Uh, I'm sorry. I never got your name. Uh, he's, he's looking at Sybil. <laughs> My name is Sybil. Alright, Sybil. Is yours? My name is... My name is Lieutenant Rames. 
Now, could you please uh, come over to the holding cell, please? I would appreciate it if uh, this, uh, this would be prompt because we have, I have a lot of information that I need to give, and apparently I need someone to help out of the fetal position. Oh, really? Yes. Do let me know if you need any help. I think you've done enough. And he's off to take a bath. Alright. He's off to take like five showers. Alright. So, the interrogations are complete. What do you do? All right, those who want to, those who are interested, I say we compare notes. Those who want to just sit here and wait for this all to blow over, yeah, do what you normal people do. Why do you keep notes looking as though you're in charge? Shailen actually sits back on the, sits back on the bend, bed, looks over at Hoshimi and, and smiles and says. All right, what's the plan? Why do you speak as though any of us are in charge? Well, you seem to have a problem with me, Dorian. I assume you have a better idea. I merely I'm asked listening. you a question. <sighs> well, I just gave you the answer, because I'm the one who came up with an idea. Now, like I said, I suggest that those who want to do something about this, we should compare notes, and again, those who don't want to get involved, you can do whatever the heck you want. Uh, Island. Yes. You, you know, you, you know that there's still a guard there. Hey. Mister Solitaire. Can... Yes. Shailen looks. Shailen looks over to the guards. Did I say we'd be doing anything illegal? I said we'd be comparing notes. That's all. Hey. Okay. Um, anything we say can and will be, will and can be used against us in a court of law? I had to try. So what notes necessarily do you mean? He ask you, what did he ask you, what did he say? Wanted to know what happened. Um, I know that he doesn't necessarily get along with that but he captain guy. That's about it. Out of character, uh, Josh, is it right if I say that whoever wants to participate, they just repeat what were they relatively repeat what was said in the cell just to move things along? Uh, yes. Okay. Um. So, uh, who does actually contribute and who decides, I don't care, I'm sitting back? Uh, the only thing that... Adrian um, leaves out of this conversation is regarding the sword. Yep. Yeah. Okay, um, Hoshimi kind of looks in Shylan's direction, and then she reaches into her top and pulls out, like, a silver piece. Call heads or tails? I'll call heads. Okay. Mm. Tails. Damn coin. And she like wipes it off. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about a real life coin. <laughs> no, I wasn't. No, she like wipes it off. And what did you say? I said heads. She flips it. Tails. I don't think I will share anything. Tails never All right. fails. Alright, so after they've shared things, Sean actually perks up with the question, wait a minute. So none of you told him about the door. He never asked about it. How did he know to ask me about it? Uh, For that matter, uh, out of character, Doc, uh, did Sybil, uh, did, did Sybil oh, volunteer his information? Uh, no, Sybil didn't. Oh, oh, sorry. 
Sorry, that. My, Sybil is just sitting and observing and staring and smiling. Okay. <laughs> so basically Owen, but we're cheerful. <laughs> I love it, though. My only... everything hurts between Sybil and Flint. I was actually just about to say something. I was saying my only my only regret during that interrogation was that when he asked if I had any questions, I didn't give him a question that I had deep inside. What's the question, Flint? When the deck of cards went to prison, where did they put him? In solitary confinement. Oh, that was a winner, and I didn't use it! You probably would have gotten... I'll only scrub, well, I'll only scrub my brain later. No, I don't no. know if it's going to do any good, but Hoshimi, Sybil, you wouldn't happen to have told him about the door, would you? Yep, that's a no. She... You lost the coin toss. Like I said, that's like I said, that answers my question. So again, how did he know about the door if none of us told him? Her character, I could have sworn he asked Adrian about it too. No, he... like Adrian said it. Uh -uh. Adrian nope. asked Adrian. He asked Adrian about the door, but no one had told him about the door before he asked Adrian about it. True! It wasn't even in my case notes, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say that out loud. Well, gave him my case notes. It didn't say anything about the door. I don't Kind think... of forgot about it in the hullabaloo, not gonna lie. You literally got teleported in front of all the guards and got arrested the second... a second after you're at the door. When would you have the time to put it in your case notes? So... It's possible that maybe the guards could see what was happening there, but if that's the case, they would have known that we were that we were trying to escape, not the cause. I don't think he exact my hunch is that he didn't know, but one of his superiors told him this is everything we know. Um So the question again is how do they know? Uh, DM, uh, may I roll, can I roll something for this? Uh, what are you trying to figure out? Um, would anyone have, would, would this be like, uh, arcana or occultism, um, about, about them knowing regarding the door? Hmm. I, I don't think that's something you can roll. Ah, darn. Um... Oh, Hold on. Yes? You say what you're going to say, and then I have something I want to share with you and Flint. I, I've been kind of thinking. Um. Yeah, I, I roll a lore underworld to see if any... Okay, is the underworld the criminal underworld or the actual Bator-like underworld? Cri criminal underworld. Like the seedy underworld. Cool. And that actually helps. Um, I know of any possible criminals who would have had that kind of magical power. That's what I want to know if I want to roll. Hmm. Snow? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. That, that's something that you could roll for. Oh, very good. Uh, 17. Good work. Good work. And a five. So, what you've been thinking of is, um, yes, there are a couple people that you've uh, helped take down when you're. It's like when you were still like uh, fre when you're still like fresh off the heels of recruit training. Uh, some uh, some people you have take down, you have taken down, did use magic. Because ra magic, uh, magical gifts are very rare now, and those who get them, a lot of times, don't use them very al altruistically. And, Even with uh, that kind of power level. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. It's like you can even with a lot even not with not a lot of not a lot of magical strength, you could get away with a, you can get away with a lot. If you know, if you ju if you know just how to use it. And especially if you if you're constantly learning and learning how to use it and learning what different kinds of ways to use it, you can be very dangerous. And this is uh. something you you know very well that Nicholas Hollyhock has dabbled in. Oh, no. Oh. Sorry, what are you... What are you, what are you worried what about? What is it? Oh. Um, oh, you all know how rare magic has gotten the last few decades. Yes, I'm assuming. Unfortunately, the person who I pursue most wholeheartedly has the capability of doing what has happened to us. Unfortunately, my division is organized crime. He could be anywhere, have anyone in his pocket. He's very good at hiding in plain sight. Uh, DM, may I roll a society check? I might do that as well, actually, DM. Uh, sure. Alright. Because I've got one particular question on my mind. Alright. Would anyone in my circles know anything about that? Well, um... You're very, you're very much experienced. You, you do have a little bit of experience, a lot of, a little bit of personal experience with. Uh, uh, how do I phrase this? Okay. The guard being compromised would not surprise you. Oh, I knew it. Question for you, Owen, and then I'd like to share something. Yes. What did this uh, Nicholas was it? Nicholas. His name Dave. is Nicholas Hollyhock. Uh, it's not spelled that way, but good try. His name is Hickle Nick Hickleus. Nicholas. <laughs> Nicholas Hollyhock. This Hollyhock. What did he look like? What did he was he described as looking at? Specifically, what kind of bill was he described as having? Very tiny. He's a halfling. Sure. So, here, Owen, Flint, and I suppose whoever else might be interested, here's what I'm seeing here. The guard, at least certain members of the guard, know a lot more than they were letting on. They didn't just see us randomly pop out of the explosion they knew what was happening inside the city. So, they know about what happened inside the city and immediately pin blame on us, even though that information should have said we weren't the criminals. Perhaps, I'm, it... looking too, perhaps I'm looking too deep into it, but that's almost like what someone would do if they wanted to create a scapegoat. Well, it does explain why, you know, they had an entire squadron ready for us when we woke up. Hmm. It all seems Unless the explosion had happened a while back and then we woke up after a while and they had that before, as soon as it uh, happened. According to what Rames told me, that's not how it went. It happened. Mm -hmm. How did uh, it start? Wait, um, Chimi, um, she takes out her own silver piece. Heads or tails? Don't toss. I'll I'll share what I have. Okay. Uh, um, I actually forgot exactly what he said, but I think it was that the explosion didn't last very long. Something along those lines. Yeah, like it just took, he, like said, it just, he said about two minutes. He hmm. said that it lasted about two minutes. That doesn't seem like enough time to summon a force that large. Unless they had guards at every street corner, there's no way they could have made a battalion that big. 
Absolutely not. And even then, there weren't very many street corners around. So even then, that wouldn't work. So someone would have had to know that the explosion would happen right at that spot. It would take at least a 15 to half, 15 minutes to muster size, a force that size from all the places. <gasps> Blast it! The wall. It was so close. Before the flash of light, I had him in my sight. Hunting him for six years. <laughs> 